hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin project files are available in the description so you can do check it out now or later and you can practice it along with them and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started Here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is also 30 seconds. And background color is solid black color. And simply hit OK. So to choose grid and guide option and hit on title save action. Then select your text tool. And I'm going to type whatever text I want. I'll type stay like this hit ctrl a for the font i am going to choose oswald and i am going to choose medium version of this font select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this you can go to the character menu and you can choose italic version of this font like this select this press ctrl alt home again press v for selection tool and adjust it properly at the center like this if you want then you can decrease the distance between this text like this yeah now let's go to the animation option and i'm going to choose position and let's decrease the position somewhere around like this go to the range selector create one keyframe over here go to the around 1.20 frames and let's make this proper 100 go to the start select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you hit play we will get something like this again go to the add choose property and i'm going to choose blur and blurriness let's make it 50 uh, or let's say 20 go to the add menu property and choose opacity and let's make this zero go to the property and choose tracking and let's make it somewhere around like minus 40 and let's disable this graph editor so if you see this we will get in something like this now select this text hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this second layer and we don't want fill for this we want stroke and we will increase the stroke size somewhere around like this let's choose 20 or let's say 12 and for the color you are free to choose any color i'll choose the darker version of this green somewhere around like this looks good to me so we'll get something like this again select this layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this third one increase the stroke width to 20 and let's choose white color like this yep now hit ctrl a to select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as text one and hit ok now go to the project window we have this text one hit ctrl d to duplicate it and open it now we will hide this one and we will select this one hit ctrl t to choose our text tool hit ctrl a to select and type another word strong same thing we will follow for this one also we will enable this and type strong same thing for this one also so if you enable all of them we will get something like this so this is my text one and let's bring our text to over here like this press s for scaling option and we will scale it somewhere around like this so if you see this now we are getting something like this let's hide this for now now we will focus on the animation of this stay now choose your pen tool and now i am going to create something like this mask on it so we'll get something like this hit ctrl d to duplicate it press m and let's make this inverted mat now let's go to the start this is my animation now select both of them and press p for position and i'm going to create one keyframe go to around 3.20 frames let's go to the start again 
let's move this keyframe over here and go to around 3.10 frames select this press V let's move this over here select this one and move this over here select those keyframes and hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get something like this and if you want you can move this a little bit over here also like this and let's enable this so we are getting something like this mm. let's delete this second one select this one and i'll select this mask by holding shift and we will move this points a little bit over here like this so it should be at the center properly hit ctrl d press m and make this inverted hit u go over here press v and let's move this over here like this yep so we will get something like this now i am going to select this paint tool and from here to here i'll create one stroke and let's increase the size of the stroke press g again to select your pen tool or you can select this selection tool you can select this point and let's move this somewhere around over here and for the color i am going to choose white color like this because the outer stroke of this is white select this zoom in and let's decrease the stroke width press g again select this point and you can move this somewhere around over here like this now select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to center hit ctrl d to duplicate it press v and let's move this over here like this now select the shape layers and move this over here now this is the second one this is the first one now i'm going to select this one and i'll make it apparent with this one select this one and make it apparent with this text one like this so this is my animation and um, at this point i'll move them over here let's select any one of them go to the add menu and i'm going to choose trim path go to the trim path let's make this zero end property go few frame forward and let's make this 100 like this select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this and at this point i think we should move them over here like this now select this trim path hit ctrl c select this tech, uh, shape layer and hit ctrl v so we'll get this kind of cut or let's go inside this one and let's delete this let's make this 100 properly and initially start let's make this 100 create one keyframe go over here and let's make this zero and select this keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this let's hide this text for now yep so we'll get something like this now we will enable this strong text and i want this should animate from here sorry like this hit u press ctrl y on your keyboard to create a background layer 
with the white color and hit ok and bring this downwards like this select this go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect on it and softness i'm going to choose 30 let's choose distance 10 increase the softness a little bit like this and opacity decrease it and shadow color let's choose this greenish color like this select this drop shadow hit ctrl c select all of them and hit ctrl v like this so now if we see we will get this kind of animation now select this one right click go to the layer styles and choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss and increase the softness and also increase the size like this increase the softness all up to up and instead of black i'm going to choose greenish color a uh, little bit you are free to choose any color if you want but because this uh, whole color complexion is green so i'm going to choose green only and then you can select this layer style hit ctrl c to copy you can select all of them and you can hit ctrl v so it will apply this layer styles on all of them Uh, but if you see over here, we are getting this kind of deflect. So hit Control Z like this. So we don't need to apply on all of them, but you can apply on the strokes if you want. So this looks good to me. So this is how you can create this type of text animations or designs like this. So that's it for the today's video, we will see you in the next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.